one of you guys i'm going to show you the play to earn method not play to earn play and earn methods inside of this and basically how the properties work and basically right now i'm going to show you how businesses work and how you can make passive income within playing the game not playing the game or just you know having fun uh, while you're playing the game all right so we want to play the video so here's the rarities right here you see taro uh, which is the lowest rarity and you will see these all through the videos or with our nfts or in like the armor any type of things you'll see these things so taro is the lowest uh, and then a uh, is the highest. Okay. So just pay attention to that right there. And when you see those things, so when you see these names or him, these words um, on the rarity of something, uh, you want to know that that stands for, um, the levels of it. So Tyro is level one and a is level five. All right. So let's get into it. So right now I lowered the, lowered the scale. And as you can see, the game was pulling in a lot from my CPU. So right now the textures is down and I'm actually using that, um, to my advantage to actually build upon this world because uh, there's a lot of texture um, a lot of textures different textures a lot of meshes inside of the game so um, as you guys will see i'm actually building a lot of different uh things and and every building not every building but majority of the building probably like 97 percent of the buildings will all be different and they all you can actually enter all of them so you can see right here i'm actually building a world out right now and over there is bunkers and you will see different things like bunkers military bases and stuff like that we'll go up to about that in another video on why those things are important and what you should definitely take your time to raid those things go in there and loot or just scavenge hunt and find things right here is a building uh this building right here is uh the terminal as you guys can see um you guys i'm actually in the middle of building that and that is the end that's a basic hotel so uh you guys will be able to use that right there to go rest i'll explain those features uh why those important excuse my driving <laughs> um i'll explain why those features are important when it comes to sleeping and stuff like that so like you know the survival the survival aspect aspect of the game so right now this is the gas station um i thought i crashed i didn't actually crash right here which is good so the whip game ain't that bad um so this is the gas station uh right now you're not able to use the pumps but i'll be coding that in soon so uh you'll be able to use the pumps and stuff like that and you'll be able to pay from the pumps instead of um going and talking to the npc so right now it's hitting optimal optimal and this is a gas station that you guys can own and these gas stations you can uh purchase snacks and you can purchase uh gas here for fuel obviously so to fill your car up um uh, and these things right now um you'll also see that the ui of the car also overlaps with this which i'm fixing that soon too which is very easy to do so i can get to that very very well i'll just get to that later but uh so you'll see that the car runs out of gas by actually traveling with the car how fast you go with the car also the car runs out of gas by leaving the car on i left the car on i think i left the car on <laughs> so <laughs> i think it's just draining gas right now so you actually have to turn the ignition in the car so you actually have to turn it on and turn it off so um that's a good feature and a bad feature i guess i don't know if people might not like that people might like it um if you don't like it let, you know if a lot of people say they, they hate it if the vote said they wanted it to out i'll take it out but uh that is a feature that that you know to bring realisticness into the game uh where you guys can uh drain your gas by leaving the car on so which i will be talking about basically gas prices what we uh will sell gas for and if you do own a gas station that you should definitely follow just follow the method of ours to make money so you can either match our prices and also or lower your prices so you can get you know to sell more than us um so how it works inside of this game is basically we own all of the businesses and properties and, and the servers until people buy them from us so that's basically how it goes all right so here's the thing the gas stations the gas systems you know, fuel is used by any car anything to be, i mean any vehicle so if it's uh, spaceships uh, hoverboards whatever it can be that right there so we will sell it for 50 cents um every time for a can of fuel snack prices will be five to ten cents and hidden credits so uh players who actually own a gas station i think you guys will make tons of returns on those things because of people playing every day people are inside the servers every day or, or in your server whatever it can be which is what would be popular to, um it'd be good to have a popular server people will be buying gas from your gas station if you have a gas station inside of a good a good a good area if you know where players like to go to that area whatever the case may be so even buying real estate uh you know is the, the strategy in this game so it's just like actual life if um if your real estate uh isn't in a good area if you gotta build a, a restaurant or whatever the case may be if it's in a good real estate then you may not make any sales 
Uh, we will talk about this right here, this feature, um, assurance and stuff like that, where, you know, you see right here, car getting shot up and stuff like that, engine got shot, so uh, the car will stop working. <laughs> so we will talk about that and for the videos. But yeah, gas stations are is the most, uh, after food is the most important resource in the game. So right now you'll see armor, what the uses is for armor, clothes, um, and, and mechs right here. So uh, you can actually purchase your mechs at the, arm, at the armor shops. So right now you'll see me getting in the car and going across the street, right? And you see with the uh, fuel, which I threw it all over there, because he, he actually throws the fuel, you, well, he or she, because you guys should create your character. They throw, they throw the stuff. So, and you see that I only purchased one fuel can, so um, it gave me half a tank. So uh, I'm going to actually go across the street right here, and we're going to the armory. So these things, these buildings, like I said, all the buildings will be different. So depending on the area, the um, armory store will look different and have different things inside of the um, store versus another place um, in, in the world. So we will continuously add places to the map um, throughout time. So again, and that, that gives us time to actually customize the place would look different for the area. So as you see me get back in the car and turn the car off. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna run over here and please uh, forgive the, the lags and the frame drops. Um, I'm recording this on another computer. Also, um, my computer just not as good enough as I need it right now. I'm in the middle of getting a better computer to basically build this type of game on this type of level. So right now when you see me walking around in the shop, showing you the shop is actually you see everything is um, really good. These things, um, the stores in another city or in the slums or in a town look totally different than this one right here. Um, so we've been going here and they, and they all sell different things. So some of my right here, you'll see me look at this wall right here. Um, right now I'm still in the middle of, you know, customizing the building and stuff like that. So I'll put some shelves out there. As you can see those empty, those walls empty over there. I'll put finish, finish those. And as you, I'm just showing you a store right here. this is what it look like. You got the helmets right there. You had the clothes folded up over there. And you have some, um, some nice drip over here. Some, <laughs> call these the Cyber 5000s. <laughs> so, sneakers um i just made and customized them and, and the colors on them and stuff like that so it's pretty cool you got the purple ones and you got the you know purple um purple uh sky blue and uh blacks and then you got the white sky blues and black so um uh, i mean blue sorry about that uh and then you have these helmets right here which comes with different colors and stuff like that different types of helmets they will have different abilities and stuff like that so these are pretty cool things that you can put on your character also when you equip your character you actually wear what you put them what you put on them so here's some clothes right here. These clothes, these are just, um, you know, assets right here. As you can just see right here, just to make the store look nice. Uh, and then you see those armor and stuff like that. So those are actual, actual armor that you can actually wear. So those are vests, uh, tactical vests. And that is um, a suit, uh, a, uh, I forgot what kind of suit that is. Uh, it was a sci-fi suit. And then that's a mech that you can actually purchase and you can actually wear the suit. And then it, it will actually um, allow you to fly, shoot guns and stuff like that. All that you know a lot of different things so um as you see my character sometimes you see me flying with them and stuff like that and the reason why is that that's me just coding that part in getting that part ready for um the mechs and stuff that's a that's a mech ability it's not a, a human ability you can't actually fly unless you got a mech so th this is the store the armor is called hit and drip so this is things you can um purchase these and the armor shops are important if players want to upgrade their armor or buy rare armor if you find rare armor outside in the world you can actually sell it inside of the stores um if you purchase uh, armor off in the marketplace you can sell it in here for a profit you can buy armor off of people and then sell it for a profit um you actually npcs will actually handle that so the npcs uh will buy stuff from uh the other players in stores so you don't actually have to do that you don't have to talk to anybody that uh, npcs will actually have money so you actually just put money into the npcs with the hidden credits and you basically just, you know, from this is from your wallet and stuff like that. So however many credits you want the NPCs to have, uh, you will just put it inside of the wallet. Um, it's inside the NPCs and the NPCs, which is um, when P players buy from the NPC, which the NPC would have its own amount of money inside of it. So like the player's money and then the NPC's money. So uh, the NPC will buy whatever, and then you can take the, the stuff that the, NPC, um, the players sell to the NPC and then boost the price up or whatever the case may be, sell it, sell it whatever the case may be. So that's a, that's, a, that's, a, um, that's a cool aspect. And armories, um, armor shops are pretty useful uh, when it comes to uh, just buying armor and stuff like that. Cause it's gonna be very difficult to find armor and stuff like that. Maybe it's difficult to find anything in, in this game. So uh, the armory, I should kind of get 
Next up, armories are very important. You can find weapons and ammo here. Ammo will be very extremely hard to find in this game. It's going to be taking a realistic, realistic aspect where you won't just find ammo anywhere. So, uh, also, if somebody actually loot the ammo, then you won't be getting it anyway. I want you to also stand. The, don't worry about the texture of the game. Once once we clean it up, you'll see that the game is completely beautiful. It actually looks amazing now. But uh, you'll see you here. We once a month we will uh, automatically update every store owners uh, on ammo, so we'll give them ammo for free so they can sell to the players and stuff like that. Like I said, ammo is very important. It's one of the uh, one of the most important resources in the game uh, because you don't get a lot of it. Um, so you know you want to make sure you um, you either save the ammo, either go to military bases, uh, you go to military bases, old police stations and stuff like that to find ammo. So there will be places you can actually go on the map to actually get ammo and stuff like that. But you want to understand that there will be other players there looking for that same thing. So it'll be very difficult. So if you, even before you go out on a quest to go even get that stuff or, or a raid or whatever the case may be to go get that stuff, you need ammo. So you want to actually make sure you plan out your um, your raid or whatever the case may be to, if, it can, if, it come, if it's a mission or whatever the case. And that's basically what the stash house is, is for. And we will get into that in another video. But this is... Uh, the armory has all types of guns, we got sci-fi guns, regular guns, and stuff like that. So we'll be adding more guns um, to this thing. Uh, and also the um, armories will all look different. Again, they will all look different depending on what area that you're in. Some of them might have shooting, shooting ranges. Some of them might actually have team like the little deathmatch things where you actually um, can go in there and actually play like a mini game and stuff like that. And But this one has a shooting range. So this is pretty cool um and i'm about to display how it looks um, as you can see pick up the ammo here these will have regenerate ammo every 24 hours so so you can come here if you are the first person to come here so once a person come here and gets it then they get it um if a person don't come there and get it somebody else get it then they won't be there so um that's something to say so my else go there and get it first then it won't be there if you go there so you have to wait 24 hours to get free ammo so that's how we will have it at every every place that has a shooting range. So if it has a shooting range, then you will have a chance to get free ammo there. Right here, you see me testing out the, just showing you guys the, the, how the gun the gun gameplay works. As you can see the physics and throwing the ammo, it bounces off the wall and stuff like that. So just showing these type of things and showing how actually bullets actually affect things. Bullets can go through walls. There will be some buildings that actually are destructible. So you can shoot down buildings and stuff like that as you can see i'm just showing you that guy showing you guys that you can walls can actually fall so like that showing you that the, that these things will be a part of the game that you can actually shoot things down as walls blow down buildings and stuff like that. so certain buildings in here uh i will be putting into the game that can actually fall and people can it can fall on people so so that'd be a cool thing when you actually when we actually talk about the um the other vehicles that you could purchase such as tanks and um jets that can be purchased inside of the game so uh that's basically armory right here yeah so armories are important due to the realistic spin of uh, the guns and ammo you like i said you won't be able to find uh ammo anywhere um you're gonna be careful going out to go find ammo inside of the the, the the raids and the missions and stuff like that and players who own armories will actually make a lot of money people will be buying ammo left and right and you also want to sell arm ammo for about five to ten cents and stuff like that so you just want to make sure you compete with our prices we will raise our prices up so you guys can actually uh sell uh more than us so people won't just come to us versus um just going to you so Unless you got some type of ammo that we don't have, which you can find those inside of the game. And you can also buy those inside of the marketplace. So we won't put anything that we upload on the marketplace inside of the game. So that's, that's, a, that's a thing. So you guys can purchase it and also sell it inside of the game for the free to play players. They can grind the token up and they can purchase it that way. Or people just want to um, um, purchase it um, from you versus purchasing it from the marketplace. So... Uh, just know that so there will be a thing that we just won't do we just won't whatever we put whatever new releases that we we create inside of the game we won't put it inside of the game we would actually put it in the marketplace and have the business owners actually um, purchase the stuff from us and then um put it into the game and then they can sell it to players so vehicle deals um which is that's supposed to be a capital d but uh vehicle deals is where you buy the vehicles you'll be able to buy hoverboards hover bikes spaceships uh, hover cars regular cars this car right here is too big i actually had to shrink that down a little bit 
and it's, as you see, like I said, I'm hand building these things, just actually just building them from the ground. So um, as you can see, it's multiple different cars. That car is actually supposed to be purple. I don't know why it's not purple. Uh, and this is one of the spacecrafts and stuff like that. So you got spacecrafts, hoverboards, hover bikes, uh, vehicles, tanks, uh, planes. But you don't buy tanks and planes here. We'll get into that in another video. Uh, this is the Prince of Folios. This is um, the, the, the vehicle deal. So you basically can buy vehicles and sell vehicles here as well. So vehicles do come with keys. So the person that owns this place will actually, we give them amount of keys uh, for the vehicles that we will give them every month. Also, we will actually update the standard videos, uh, videos, uh, the videos, vehicles. We will update the standard vehicles. Uh, where so they just sell out of a vehicle. We just update the standard vehicles for them for free and we give them keys and stuff like that. So the keys what comes to the vehicle. So when they sell the vehicle, they actually have to give the key to the player. So which is automated, they'll be automated. So as you see, I'll go back here and the keys is on this thing right here. So we got the purple dreams, it's supposed to be purple car and the sky jet. So uh right here is the the excuse that I'm actually trying to figure out what the hell is going on. All right, so right here is um, a part where a car was destroyed, and this is the insurance part. So when, when the insurance company, when cars get destroyed, insurance companies, uh, this is basically just showing this. It's not going to be like everybody's car going to be in here, but this is basically just showing that. That's, 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 that's like, so that's what happens. They basically, they come here, they get the car fixed and stuff like that. So uh, that's the insurance. So we'll talk about this insurance in another video. But yeah, so your cars, your vehicles, uh, planes, all that type of stuff like that. When it's destroyed, you have insurance on them, uh, you can get a new one. If you don't have insurance on them, they, they'll just sit and uh, you can't use it. So uh, that's basically about that. Or, or you just pay, which is a lot of money, uh, <laughs> to get it uh, uh, a new one. So why do that? Just get insurance. So vehicle deals is a shop where players will be able to uh, buy the coolest vehicles uh, and gain access to safer and faster routes. So having a vehicle is very important inside of this game because you don't want to be caught slack, uh, lacking or slacking in, in these mid streets. All right, so uh, vehicles will depend on popularity and design and as well as the utility because most vehicles do different, different, different things. Like some will have guns, um, some will be faster than others, some will be good for different terrains and stuff like that. So depending on the utility of the vehicle will be very important. Right now, um, this is gameplay of darkness right here. So this is what it looks like when it gets completely dark and this is where the zombie apocalypse happens like so uh only on the darkest condition um um uh, weather conditions is when the zombie apocalypse happen and then it goes back to normal but yeah so as you see uh right now i'm gonna climb over this wall and you're gonna see it look like resident evil up here <laughs> so i wanted to uh to show this little part right here to show the coolness like make it you know show a little resident evil right here uh that's one of my favorite games so i just wanted to make a little thing look like it real quick so this is that. I just wanted to talk about that for a second. But yeah, so that's um, uh, vehicles and deals, uh, well, vehicle deals. Uh, and that's basically how that works. So uh, buying and selling vehicles uh, um, is very, very important inside of this because people will always will be looking to purchase vehicles. Uh, corporate office, uh, this place, this is for the big dogs right here. So I want you to know that um, if no one in the server own a corporate office, you can't access it so no one will be able to access the corporate office unless someone in the server owns it uh i actually have one um, in my wallet so uh if i'm in your server then you'll be able to come and uh, hang out with me and stuff like that inside of the, uh, the corporate office and here is eight people can sleep in here um i'm st still finishing it up and stuff like that but eight people can sleep in here you have um you know you know places for people to work i guess i don't know we, we figure out what, as time goes we're going to do a lot of the space in here um, but yeah, so it, it comes with a restaurant um, where uh, small foods can be sold, um, a bank, um, insurance company. Uh, it comes with a lot. Then armory it comes with a little. This is a well equipped place. Uh, this this you can have your office, you know, your own office and clan um, clan missions is here as well. So again, like I said, if someone has a, a corporate office inside your server, then you you have access to clan missions and stuff like that. So you don't actually have to own the corporate office to go do clan missions if someone has it inside your server. So if someone has it inside your server, you can go to that corporate office and do clan missions. Uh, and also, obviously, the person that owns it could do clan missions as well. And 
this is a good investment for um, people because um, it has everything in it and people that will do clan missions and stuff like that will need to buy certain things to actually go on the missions and stuff like that and all that stuff will be sold inside of the corporate office so that's where your money will come from um, big time for that as you see I'm just using uh, my electric ability just to show the, just the um, just the just how much work is put into the game uh, where the light lightning actually um, illuminates the place for me so yeah this place is really huge <laughs> so i'm still in the middle of trying to figure out where i'm gonna put bedrooms at uh you will be able to sleep on the couch and here's so certain couches you'll be able to sleep on so like i said i sleep to eight people so uh people who don't have uh stash houses of their own uh want to get away from the darkness or any type of other conditions that can harm them they can come into your corporate office or they can go into um the end which is across the street you'll see in a second now, so this is the little restaurant area right here um you see you got pizza and stuff over there so uh that's that's the small so um that's what's it it, it it basically fills them up small uh small amount uh versus a big amount so um we don't have in this one we're not going to have it where it's um it fills them up completely uh this i just showed you guys uh this is where the insurance company is going to be at and i just showed you guys some of the couches that they've been sleeping on uh, so people can sleep on all right, so we're gonna go in the back, and we want to show you. We will show you the end. Uh, well, that's across the street, so they can't come in here if the people are already staying inside of here. <laughs> uh, which is, uh, you know, it's up to you as the owner. Uh, you can kick them out, whatever the case may be. Tell them to get out if they, if they, you know, shagging inside of your place. Um, but it's up to you. Um, but the uh, across the street, this is the uh, right there, the lighted building. That's the um, that's the hotel. So right there. So this is the, just the beautiful view um i can't wait until i get a better computer which i'm trying to get like a real real powerful computer to um to finish building this thing going because it's going it's it's to it's be a massive game so i need something very 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 powerful much more powerful than what i have already so so corporate losses this place is all in one area that, could, that we don't even own so like the hidden off um the hidden studios don't own it i own one though but the studios don't own one so you know you have to have somebody to have one in your server to be able to go in there. It has everything well equipped with everything, except like armor stores and uh, gas stations. It doesn't have that, but owning a corporate office is very lucrative. All right, so restaurants. This is two different ones. You got the um, you got the, the the this right here, the above and beyond restaurant, which is the sky skyline, and this is on top of the end. And this is basically for like uh, I got the idea from the Pyramid Club uh, from Philadelphia, so that's where I used to go at when I used to. Um, be in philadelphia so go to the pyramid club so i guess where i got the idea from so um this is for like people big business people <laughs> can come here uh you got clan missions here as well um you can come in here and set up uh your quests and stuff like that just like you do a stash house you can do it here as well uh this is what business deals be going at because if you know about business most business is done at the table um and so this is where it's at you can have a bunch of people coming here and hanging out so you'll be able to sit down in these chairs and stuff like that uh there are bartenders and stuff like that over there and yeah, so this is a pretty cool place right here. I'm gonna go upstairs, and uh, I want to also say no one won the contest. Which I posted up a picture, and I actually said the person that take a guess on what area is this in the game, then they win a supreme key. No one won. Uh, this is so the, the part is the restaurant. So here's up here is where all of the um, what is this crafting table right here? This is the crafting table. Um, uh, this is where all the planning and stuff will go at. So this is the, uh, this is where it's basically a headquarters right here as well. So you can't sleep here though, but <laughs> this is the headquarters where you guys can do your uh, your evil doing or just set up a mission to go somewhere else or just find out if you need some ammo or whatever the case may be. Set up, you know, your plan to attack on where you want to go, which is going to be very important inside of this game to plan everywhere you go before you go there uh because might be bandits there might be uh other players that are bandits there you know so you want to make sure you go there so restaurants are very important as food um as food is the most important resource in a game where eating can keep you alive uh finding food would be hard in this game so raiding places like old markets and stuff like that so they will have, we will have them but they'll be very difficult to find food uh restaurants we will be having our prices at 10 50 cents and hidden credits um so you want to make sure that you uh be very very strategic when it comes to setting your prices and also make sure that you uh, you just basically don't boost the prices up like you you know you hibachi or something like that <laughs> don't uh boost the prices because no one will actually go to your restaurant restaurants are actually important too because um 
before you go on missions you want to make sure you have pack a lunch box or whatever the case may be which is basically putting food in your bag um and versus uh not going to eat on your missions because if you don't eat on your missions you will starve it will also affect you like you move slower and stuff like that um you start getting um uh, your vision start getting blurry and then you end up dying right uh so you don't want to be in the middle of a shootout or in the middle of a battle or in a melee fight and fight and you you're hungry and and, and you just, it's just gonna be bad for you so uh, if a person don't have food, which like I said, food is going to be hard as you can go to the grocery store, which when that's done, I'll post that up. You can go to the grocery store uh, or you can go to a convenience store, which when that's done, I'll post that up. Uh, and use, I'll basically explain the perks in that. Um, and you can purchase. That's how you get purchase foods that you, you, you know, if you don't want to go looking for it. So um, if you don't have any food, you can go to restaurants, pay for the food um, before the mission and eat there and then you go on your mission so that's basically that and these are the ways that you can make money uh inside of the game passive income again if you own these places you don't actually have to play the game um all you gotta do is this you know as the um tokens is actually getting um sent to you by uh people purchasing stuff from the game from your npcs as the npcs are collecting the money um that goes to your wallet so that's basically how it works uh, you don't actually have to play the game just you can just purchase one of the uh the businesses and the, the game will make the money for you if it's in the popular server so you will make good a good amount of money and if you purchase the right property so this is all about where you purchase that too uh right now um this is hidden city right here so the hidden city this one is going to be a popular place because normally people want to uh, go here because this is, this is actually going to be um one of the most like high-end places so um right now is at its very 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 beginning stages and when y'all see it this is when it's finished it's just gonna be crazy gonna be a lot more buildings there a lot more things you can do there as well uh and a lot more hangout places so um we wanted to make the game where it's, it's it tells a story so where you can create your own story so it's like well i mean tell the story it has a story mode and stuff like that whereas in the story mode is also with the online play too so um what that means is instead of just going to raids uh looting uh whatever the case may be you can also do missions uh, and stuff like that so you can do missions but you can also not do the missions and just do raids and uh go on looting and just building up your your stash house your headquarters and stuff like that or just building up your inventory or like i said your stash houses and stuff like that and also selling the stuff that you get into you so it's up to you how you play the game you play the game how you want to play there's gonna be a lot of role playing inside the game it's gonna be a lot of different things where people um can actually like make their own little youtube movies and stuff like that with the game and stuff so um one thing i would like to say um this is definitely gonna be a community driven game so uh, you want to make sure you get to know people get to know each other um make friends and stuff like that um and try not to be a toxic player because i already know it's gonna be a lot of trolls and stuff like that inside of the game where we're just killing people and stuff like that for no reason but that's why you guys want to help each other because the, I, the AI is not going to be sweet either. So it's not going to be that they're standing there uh, like I just had those zombies there. But it's not going to be they're standing there. There will be people with guns. They, the AI will be smart. So um, it won't be easy just going to um, like bunkers, uh, abandoned buildings and stuff like that. And just thinking that you can just walk in there and just get the loot and just leave. It's not going to be that easy. There will be uh, a difficult things. It, it's not leveling, and I'm taking. I took the level. I had level in there, but there's no. Uh, I'll remove that. There will be no level system in the game, so it's all about skill. Whereas if you're good, you're you you, you could be able to survive things, uh, like boss fights and whatever the case may be. And if you're not, you, you might need to team up with people. So that's basically uh, what I wanted to do with the game. And you want to make sure you stay alive. That's the main important of it. Because if you don't stay alive, you get you can get your body looted and, and all your all your hard work, uh, everything but your money you can get taken from you, uh, and your myths and your creatures too. So other other than that, those two things that can get taken from you, and that's the reason why the stash house, which we we'll talk about that in another video, uh, will be important. So yeah. So if you have any questions, you already know what to do. Like, share, this, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. But share the video. Let everybody know about this game and um, how it can make you passive income uh, from just playing and earning. And it's actually going to be a super fun game. So it's not going to be just one of those crap games, you know. So this is definitely going to be one of those where you have a lot of fun. And that's the main focus. It's fun and actually building your own story. All right. So with that being said, I'm out of here.